I'm Victoria Jane and this is Gig Pigs from the studio and I'm joined on the sofa by the wonderful Paris mm -hmm. Adams, <laughs> all the way from Birmingham. Yeah, exactly, long way. <laughs> How do you find um, the music scene in Birmingham actually? Um, do you know what, it's getting a lot better I think. Um, there's certain venues that have been popping up over the last sort of two years or so um, that have definitely helped mm. elevate the music scene yeah in Birmingham because it was quite bad before I really? think if I'm honest yeah like I'm hearing your accent more now <laughs> you? when I did um when I've like toured the UK before Birmingham was always the worst city and really that, it's but, interesting yeah in terms of like actually getting people out to see the the shows and stuff it was always yeah the worst but I mean I think Definitely, over the last couple of years, I've seen a growth, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you've been doing music for a little while now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you used to be part of the Adelaide's. Yes. Um, are, you, are you still? No, uh, not yeah, anymore, so no. It's... So we um, we broke up a couple of, well, yeah, about three years ago mm. now. Um, just after COVID, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, it's a shame. Like, things just started to sort of, I guess, dwindle a little bit through mm. COVID. Um, and yeah, it was just sort of the time yeah. for us to call it a day, yeah. really. And you're yeah, but... kind of reset now, you're doing yeah. your own stuff. It's yeah. so nice and refreshing though to hear, mm. like, just you as well. Oh, thank you. And um, I feel like your music, especially Trigger, the mm -hmm. EP, um, it's been nice to see that body of work just by yourself. Yeah. Um, exactly. How was it actually making Trigger? Like, talk oh, me through the recording yeah. writing Trigger, process. Specifically, Trigger as a song, it was um, probably the hardest because it was actually going to be my debut single. Oh. Um, we ended up going with Gold instead, which you'll hear. Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, we, Trigger was written about the girls and, and being mm. in a place where I was just by myself as a solo artist and how hard that was mm. and how like triggering it yeah. is to be in a place where you're used to being with you know your friends or in my case it was my bandmates and now not and having to sort of deal with those those things I guess but um because yeah I wrote that in Nashville and it was yeah. about being in Nashville Amazing. by myself which you know I'd been used to being there with with them instead mm. but um so you went out to write in Nashville by yourself yeah yeah gosh and yeah. like how what is the like how did that help you as well because obviously that's to write in a different city mm. is one thing but to write in a whole different yeah. like, place across halfway across the world yeah of course. it was scary at first I mean I've I've done a lot of solo travel anyway so I think oh, okay. being in Nashville I'd been to Nashville by myself I went when I was 20 for three mm. weeks by myself <laughs> didn't wow. know anybody um so I guess being back there was in one way scary but I knew quite a few people by then and um so it's nice to just catch up with those people yeah. write some new songs and you're trying to just rediscover myself as a soloist I think yeah, yeah so. and that's how the new project has come yeah. around yeah, yeah and <laughs> when you like when you was younger um were there some artists that could have kind of stood out to you that you mm. were really inspired by I mean when I was younger, I loved Shania Twain. I've, yeah. I've always had like a country thing yeah. with my music and just my love for music has always been with country. Mm -hmm. um, so like, yeah, Shania Twain was one of my favourites, Carrie Underwood. Um, but most recently, I, I love Maren Morris. She does okay, like a lot yeah. of pop, um, country, R&B, mm. sort of mixture of yeah. stuff, which I really love. And I, I think I would, with my music, I want to do more of a mixture of, of genres rather than yeah. just one type I think 100% 100% mm, yeah. yeah. and when you do a gig how do you get yourself ready to be on stage do you get nervous um yeah sometimes I think uh, I never used to I don't know what oh. sort of like changed now yeah, okay. but like sometimes I get a bit nervous I think if I know that there's somebody in the crowd that is like come specifically for, to watch me yeah. and stuff that can be a bit like there's a lot of pressure on that right. I think sometimes but um yeah, I mean, I've I've done it so many times now that you sort of get used to that mm. and you get over that. Mm. But um, but yeah, I think I, I played C to C the Country Music Festival yeah. last year, and that was quite scary by myself. I mean, I had uh, musicians and stuff with me, but it was quite scary just to be on my own and all the speaking is down to me and stuff. Whereas before, I sort of shared the stage mm. with you know two of the girls. So. Yeah, I think now that's it's a, a little bit more scary. <laughs> that's a big festival as well. Yeah. Like, what was it like even being asked to be part of that by yourself? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I love that festival. Anyway, I, I went this year just to watch the 
other artists and stuff and it's just amazing so, oh gosh yeah. it's so nice to see you representing you know country music here in the uk as well do you think it gets a light shone on in the uk as much as it should um i think now it is i think people are starting to sort of warm to it a bit mm. more and um uh, recently I just played a um, somebody's birthday party and it was, it was cowgirl themed oh. so everything was country sort of they had all the boots on yeah. and the hats and stuff and I think like since Beyonce's single oh yeah of course Post Malone is doing yeah. you know country as well and all these sort of major artists that are doing more pop or contemporary sort of music mm. are now sort of drifting into the co- I think it makes it a bit more cool for some yeah people and it doesn't seem as much of a like taboo genre mm, <laughs> for people that's interesting think. actually i never yeah. thought of it like that i think some people just have always been a bit like afraid to say that they like it because mm. it's always been a bit of like a i don't know it's a very americanized genre anyway so mm-hmm. especially here in the uk for people mm. to say that you like it it's very like people think it's all yeehaw or mm. like you know they just stuff. need to be more used to it yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. So talk to me about what's been going on recently, like the the music that you've been... So um, I've released four singles now over the last year, um, and they've all been going down really well, I think. Um, I've been doing sort of one-off shows here and there. I've got a couple of shows coming up as well. Um, Not in Manchester, though. I need to get a Manchester one in. in (laughs) But um, yeah, it's been been really fun. It's just been really good to sort of get my own stuff out and Mm -hmm. be writing more as well. I've written quite a lot and... Um, yeah, just sort of enjoying it more. I think before it felt a bit more like a job where you mm. had to stay on top of it, whereas yeah. now it's more like I do it because I enjoy it. Yeah. So. And how has, like, Gig Pig, how has Gig Pig helped you as an artist and yeah. getting more gigs and bookings? It's fabulous for, for, for artists like me that, you know, especially as a solo artist, go out and, and gig, you know, mm. professionally, regularly. It's that platform has massively helped me. Was it harder to get gigs before, do you think? Definitely, yeah. It can be very daunting. I mean, I've been doing it a long time now, but um, I think anyone that's sort of in their early 20s or just starting out to do it full-time, mm-hmm. Gig Pig will like, massively help in terms of getting them gigs out mm-hmm. and just getting them out and, and doing some shows. Yeah. yeah. It's so exciting to have you on, though, and I'm so Thank excited you. to hear you perform. Yeah, um, I'm going to ask you something that I always ask everyone. When you're doing a gig and you have a rider, what is one thing that has to be on there? <laughs> um, oh, God. I'm really not fussy, to be honest. I feel like some people are like, I need the blue M&Ms or something. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, but no, I, I'm just not fussy at all. I'm a, I'm a Jack Daniels drinker. So oh, are anything, you? Okay. Honey, like, Jack like, honey Jack Daniels. Yeah. Babe, <laughs> I tried yeah. that first for the, like, Do you like the first it? time. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Right. It's a dangerous one, though. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah <laughs> it is. It is. I love that. Honey I Jack probably Daniels. say that. I probably say that. Okay, <laughs> lovely. Well, make sure you check out her session from the studio.